Hey everyone, welcome to the Colorado Greenhouse. It is now uh, the middle of January, I think it's about the 9th or 10th, and just wanted to give you a quick update on how everything's growing in here, which is pretty damn good. So uh, we'll walk through and I'll show you all the different systems and where we are since the last posting in December. So these are the big trout, in, uh, big trout, big tilapia in here. I don't think any of them are going to show their faces right now and being shy. But they're, they're between about 8 inches and 12 inches, uh, starting to look mighty yummy. So in the tank next to them, I now have 100 baby tilapia. And so uh, I'd say these guys are going to be on my dinner plate pretty soon. So in here, we're down to, before I had greens and with the tomatoes peeping out, now we're just about just tomatoes. I've got one little thing of Italian kale in there. The tomatoes are all doing great, growing up to the ceiling, and uh, really starting to get some good production off of these. So these guys will grow for about a year. I've, I've done this before. They'll get to be about 25 feet high and you just constantly sort of wind them down on the string. Um, got one over here that I've been keeping an eye on, so he's uh, probably going to join the dinner plate along with the tilapia pretty soon. So over here is the was the trout bin. Gave the trout all away to a friend of mine who uh, basically fed my trout to his, his bigger trout. And in the cycle of life, everything is, is good. So we've got the broccoli that's really coming in uh, pretty well. These are the snap peas. And I think we've got a little baby snap pea there. Some leeks. And then this bed was all taken apart and replanted. I had an aphid infestation. And so uh, we just started over again with some mixed greens. Over here, this is the big bed. It's cantaloupe, a lot of green beans, peppers back there, some bigger broccoli plants. Not sure why that is. They just seem to be a little happier. Some green beans that are getting a little on the old side. They're, they're needing to be replaced. It's part of our pest management system here. Basil and eggplant. This is the herb bed. Been cutting off basil like mad. If anyone has good basil recipes, let me know. Because, boy, we've been throwing it in salads and on top of stuff. And uh, uh, we're ready to make some pesto pretty soon. And then this is the cucumber. I'm getting about a cucumber every other day off of this. And he's just showing no signs of slowing down. I expect him to take over the greenhouse very soon. So you'll see what cucumbers are coming out of here. This is the goldfish tank. Ended up getting a virus in here. The goldfish were just dying in groves. So I moved the survivors out to our, our big outdoor pond and I'm restocking slowly but surely with some ornamental goldfish. Lesson learned, don't buy feeder goldfish. Um, I got them from a couple different sources, and I think they come in with a virus. They don't take as much care of them because they think they're going to be fed to other critters. And uh, so I put those in here and ended up infecting my whole system. So now I'm starting back slowly. Thinking about going with Paku. If anyone has ever grown Paku before, please let me know. So... That's the update, middle of January, happy place to be. Uh, just a quick plug, I started last week, weekend to work on a blog. It's at aquaponicgardening.wordpress.com and I'd love to get some readers in there. It's a lonely place right now, um, but please come read the blog and comment, let me know what you like, what you don't, what you want to know more about. That would be awesome. Thanks so much.